Beverly is part of the Wiesbaden chapter and uh, also acts as the national press coordinator for Germany. Hi, good afternoon. Um, first of all, I want to thank the speakers before me that you took so long that I didn't have to speak before lunch, because all of you were fading off, I think, just before lunch, so it's nice to be able to talk to a nice, refreshed group. Um, yeah, my name is Beverly Seebach. I live in Mainz. I'm from Colorado. I voted in Colorado. I've lived in Germany forever. <laughs> Colorado. Um, I actually work in Frankfurt. And I work for an international organization, and I represent Europe, so I'm traveling around a lot. Um, and I've got, I've had many different roles within Democrats Abroad, and now I, um, for whatever reason, I am doing the section about press. So I'm talking about a new topic, press, media, I'm talking about coordination communication with the German press, but guess what? It's not a new topic. It's basically the same thing. We're getting out our message, we're getting out the vote. Why are we doing this? Because American, it's a broad people of the American citizenship who live outside of the United States have the right to vote. It's their right. Their votes are counted. We could prove that. They are counted. It's important. And Democrats abroad are here to help them. Okay. Just to, for you who maybe are not so into this topic, in your thinking, we've been talking a lot about how we're reaching out to Americans. Why would we even bother talking to the German press? And when I first started with Democrats Abroad in, what did Quaid say, it was about senior Quaid's 2004, a little bit before that, actually the, the chair at that time told us we don't talk to Germans. We don't talk to the German press. Well, the German press wants to talk to us. Um, especially during the Obama years, they were very, very thrilled to talk to us, but even, and even maybe more so, depending on who you're talking to, they're very interested in talking to us. Maybe it's almost the morbid point of view. They want to hear how terrible it is under Trump or how these crazy these Americans are to, to elect somebody like that, but the German media is very interested. Um, but why we're we doing this? We're mobilizing our voters. Um, the question came up, when, I think, when I'm moving before and you answered it, well, how do we reach out to those dual citizens? somebody like me, for example, but there are many out there that are both, have both citizenships. And I, seriously, I maybe sound like I'm exaggerating, but I don't read anything in English in general. I'm reading the German press. Probably because my German husband puts it on the table, but, but obviously, I, if I'm reading something about Americans in the German press, I, it's there, and I reach, and if a German is reading that, they're reaching out to me about it. We are reaching Americans by communicating via the German press. I did a podcast about, was it about in November at some time? Um, actually, it was done in English, but it was um, produced and, and publicized in the German press. Three or four Germans reached out to me. It was like, gee, I didn't know about them. What? There's that many Americans out there? This is how you vote? So, again, these were only Germans who are interested in it, but they are reaching out to Americans. Hopefully, they're getting the word out too. So that's, they, we're mobilizing our voters. Indirectly, maybe, maybe the Americans are not reading the German papers, maybe they're not hearing that, but we are reaching out to them, and we're building our membership, for sure. All of those statistics that we see that are moving up, one way or the other, we don't know exactly how they're getting to us, but that is one possibility. And we have a mutual relationship with the press. They need us. They need that nice little interesting story about those unusual foreigners, Americans living in Germany, and how they really set up their GPP office and how they do this. They really do want to have communication with us. So there's a mutual communication. Um, often the question is asked, or it's just assumed that if you're a Democrat abroad or if you're an American, um, it's assumed by the German press, they can walk up to you and talk to you about Democrats abroad, about the system, about the political system, what we're doing. That's really not the case for Democrats abroad. Democrats abroad, the media should be talking, and they want to, in general, they want to talk to a high-ranking person. They want to talk to the head. They want to talk to 
at that time of President Obama, and they thought they were talking to a Democrat surprise, they were talking to him, no, that's not possible. But they, in general, they want to talk to a high-ranking person. High-ranking person means basically our, our country chair in this point in Germany. Um, depending on the situation, though, they would want to talk to an expert about a particular topic or an area. They would want to talk to, to Angela about the Black Caucus. This is a, a certain voting right issue. They would want to talk to the person who is responsible, who knows about the voting rights. Taxation, you know, they, they depend on the topic, they want to talk to a particular person, maybe. But in any case, whoever is talking to the press is representing Democrats abroad, and they're not just representing Democrats abroad in Germany, they're representing the DNC. We are an official part of the, the political party. We're not Republicans overseas, which is a very different pair of shoes. We are really, who was that? No. <laughs> um, we are officially representing our platform, the Democratic platform, the Democrats Abroad platform, okay? So we have what we call service speakers. That means people who are very well informed and aware of what we are saying to the press, what we are allowed to say. That sounds a little bit hard, but how we are saying it, how we're communicating with them. So basically, there are two um, two ways of communicating with the press, active and proactive. Um, active means that we, as Democrats abroad, are reaching out to the press. We're looking for the press. We send out press releases. We are actively finding out where the press is and communicating with them. Proactive is the case where uh, a German journalist contacts us. For whatever reason, they realize that we're doing an event, maybe they didn't get the information from us, but they're aware that we're out there, and they're reaching out to us, and they say, oh, that sounds interesting. Would you like to talk to us? Would you like to join a debate? Would you like to um, appear on our television station? Would you like to be interviewed? Okay, so there's two different possibilities. I need, I was told to, a uh, report on what we did in 2019. Uh, the, uh, all of us officers began our roles in the end of February, March last year. Um, so what we did in 2019 and what we are planning, what we will do in 2020. Um, press releases. Press releases in the past we received um, basically coming down from DNC, from the Democratic Party, and then going down to DA communications then on to us. That happens to some extent. Amanda, who's in the room yawning in the back, is, <laughs> is our contact person for the communications and the media um, and our direct link for information of what we officially sent out that goes down to us. And that was the case, for example, a press release that I translated, we had translated to German and sent out in May 2019, German-wide. Um, and we did one press release or an invitation for the Democrats Abroad Lights for Liberty um, that was, I think, took place in four different chapters uh, across Germany. We sent that out in July. So now going through 2020, we sent out a press release or a press invitation is a better term for it for this event today. By the way, is there anybody from the press here? Talking about the press, I should be afraid what I'm saying. I guess maybe something's out here. <laughs> um, so I sent out a press release. Again, this is German wide. I'll explain a little bit about that in my last slides. That I just sent out um, six days ago or five days ago to all of the contacts uh, that I have for press and media all over Germany, inviting them to come today. Um, and the same thing will be done for the GPP, for the um, Global Primary. <laughs> And that will have specific information. Guidelines, again, will be coming from the, the global communication team that have uh, specific information for Germany for each of the 30 voting locations. Um, the contacts of who's responsible for each of those voting stations will be made available to the press and expect the press to reach out to you. Okay? Um, proactive. Like I said, there is the possibility that the German press, for whatever reason, um, contacts us directly, and that has been the case, for example, when we are actively doing a march, we actively have an event, we have a GOTV table event. Um, for a good example is the CSD in Cologne, the party, the, the, they call it parade in, in Cologne, that we were 
up front on, on, on uh, a newspaper. The Women's March, we know that several times that we've been photographed and interviewed during these marches. Also, there were interviews when Obama was in Cologne. Candace was interviewed by the press. Uh, panel discussions. Panel discussion as in a debate, also that a Republican overseas was present. There was two instances that was very, very well done, and I'd like to congratulate and please applaud for two very excellent colleagues, as uh, Kelsey and uh, from Stuttgart. We did an excellent job. And the, it, was, it wasn't filmed. Somebody was just asking, I was talking about what we had done this year, and they said, well, is, do we have that on video? Unfortunately, neither of one of you were, were taped, uh, that, but it was a very good job. It was a good example. Um, wider outreach, German outreach, I said a podcast about impeachment, um, TV interview. There's two times TV interviews that we've been uh, representing the DNC or a panel discussion, and Emily represented us both times for that. was in 19. Oops, I went the wrong way. Sorry about that. What can we expect in 2020? What do you think? More the same. The Germans are interested in us. We should be interested that the media is interested in us. There'll be more of that. There'll be more interviews, probably, hopefully, because we are informing them about our GPP, the the locations, the press will be coming to those locations. We're expecting that. I know several of you are reaching out to the press anyway. You're making them very much aware of that. You should be doing that. They'll be coming to our uh, GPP voting. Um, and interviews, debates. The closer we get, especially once we have our candidate, the more interest is out there. The, the, they want to know, they want to hear what we're seeing and seeing us compared to the Republicans. And there are Republicans overseas out there. Um, photos from events. That is something that, um, and again, this last slide, I'll explain a little bit how I need support. Um, there are certainly a lot of photographs being taken of, or, and videos probably, being taken of Democrats abroad. When we are having our, our tables, I said, when we're doing events, but they're not necessarily sharing that with us. And if we knew they were taping us, they don't necessarily ask for our permission, but it would be great to be able to know that and be able to spread that around again, that we really are doing something. And panel discussions. Um, that's something that we are working very hard on, is, is making the German, we are doing this, we are making the German press aware of us. It's not easy. Um, working, I don't know how it is in, in other countries. I only know press in Germany. Um, try to find a journalist his email address, his telephone number. Have you ever tried to do that? You see somebody speaking, a journalist or the, I don't know, audio moderator of a certain show. You know his name, you can't get his email address. You might find him on LinkedIn, you might find him somewhere, but you can send him an email, there's a form you can send him information, but you can't pick up the phone and talk to him. They, they for different reasons, and I know why to an extent, that they are, they're overwhelmed with emails, they're overwhelmed with contacts, and it's, it's hard to get in touch with them. We're working very hard on that. And again, on the other side, they are in contact with Republicans overseas, though. And it's not necessarily that Republicans overseas were that active, but since 2016, American Germans, German Americans that are um, a Republican overseas, basically Trump supporters, are being interviewed by the German press, are on talk shows, are on, on radio shows, um, and they're representing America. Americans, how awful is that? We need to have the counter. We need to be out there and, and be prepared, of course. So, we need to be prepared. Did I say that already? We need to be prepared. We really need to be prepared. We need to share information. Um, that's something that I do. I, uh, maybe I'm not, I could do more. Let me know. If you have an opportunity, if somebody approaches you and says, the press wants to talk to you, the press contact me, and you need to be prepared, we have that information out there. <laughs> we really do. We have it from the, the global level. On our wiki, there's an enormous amount of, money, uh, of, of information. As I was going to say money. Time that's invested into that, probably not money, that's invested in that. You need to be able to filter through that. 
and you need to look at it and see if it's up to date. And that's something that I can certainly help you with. I, if I, and I, the information isn't there. If somebody has a question, I will find it. Okay, I have them the means internally, but also externally to find the information that we should be able to, to talk about. The talking points, points, the official DA statements that we can say, that we should be saying, okay? Um, surrogate training, like I said, there are, uh, we need to be prepared to have at least as many voting locations we have. We need to be have that many people that are prepared and trained to be able to talk to the press. We shouldn't be taken off of a surprise. Um, we are inviting the press to attend our events. They show up, we can't say, oh, sorry, um, yeah, can I talk to you later? No, you have to be prepared. So tomorrow when we have our XCOM meeting, part of that will be TPP training, and part of that will be then explaining to you, I'll take the steps to, to explain to you what you need to be aware of to talk to the press, and we'll do some exercises. But I only have a half an hour tomorrow, this is going to be very short. We're going to have a couple of sessions after that then in February. Okay, I think I put the days. Um, Saturday and, oh, I didn't put all of them. We did the Saturday also, right? Saturday and Sunday, the 8th and 9th of February, and um, Tuesday evening. Okay, for the surrogates. Yeah. One has a question. Yeah, I just wanted to comment after, since I helped organize the press for Berlin and GPP, the GPP four years ago, is if you're organizing, um, you have registration tables because you have to check if everybody is a U.S. citizen and a member of Democrats Abroad. Anyway, you can also just put up a sign for press, and generally German press are very obedient, and they will just go to the press table to check in, and you can give them a badge that's like bright red or something that says press, and that way people also know for sure that they're not just talking to a random person, but that they might be on the record. And so that helps, and also you can then direct your press point person to the person who, um, to the journalists that are attending. So. Yeah, that's part of the GPV training tomorrow, that is very clear, and part of what the sketch we're doing later, that is very clear, um, what the position of the different people at the GPP is, and that the press, for example, knows <coughs> what they are, who they are talking to, who they're allowed to talk to. That's important. Um, what else do I have? Again, talking about being prepared. Um, many of you that I've communicated with about this, but I don't know, the rest of you probably don't realize that, there actually is a list of German contacts, of German press contacts or media contacts. I, I inherited it. I don't know who put that together. Um, it's been out there for probably some years. I don't know where Donna go. I don't know, think Donna had that. To, I don't I Maybe it's part of your, it's part of your, your well, part of this. Um, so when I send out, and this is the way I'm communicating to the press, I'm sending out an email. I'm using an email contact. You can talk, contact the press by other means, you can fill out a form, but to do a, a mass um, mailing out to, with one press release to all of the press, I, I use an email. And I have about 128 email addresses in a list, and those cover all of Germany. So what I've asked is the individual chapters or the, the appointed volunteer or somebody who has volunteered to assist or help out with, with the press to go through that list and see if that's really correct and or add to it. Um, because, I'll tell you why, I just another press release again, this is the second or third one I've sent out. I thought the list would have been cleaned up a little bit. I sent it out to 128 people. I got 25 error messages. That, that means it's, those aren't real people. The email address is not correct, and or many of those addresses are info at whatever, or redactura at, and I'm afraid those are my new spam also. So that's something that is important to me. I have not taken the time to sit down and, and try to find German wide. We have somebody who can provide a list to me recently. There is a, a list of, very clear list of media in Germany, but not the contact people, and not the, the best and the correct contact person. That would be very beneficial to have a, a clean list. Um, so we need to continue working on that. And, pardon? Oh, okay, one minute. Oh, I can do this in one minute. Um, regarding, again, Republicans overseas, they are showing up in the press. They've been interviewed in 2016, which irritated me so much then, and then I thought, okay, now I'm the press person, I have, I can do something about this. Well, it's hard to do. We need to understand how the press is getting in, talk, in, in touch with these, um, and when they're interviewing the Republican overseas, and give us that same opportunity. We need something to work on that. And 
I have, I don't know if you realize that we do have a press page on Democrats Abroad. DAG Germany has a press, and Patrick knows it. And what I do, is I add the, the information, what we do, um, how to contact us, but also I post everything, on our press releases I post, and I post anything that's been in the press about us. Well, I only have like four or five things in there. I'm sure that we've been out there more. Give me anybody, anybody who sees Democrats Abroad show up, even if it's indirectly and the photographer didn't mean to photograph Democrats Abroad. It showed up in the press, send it to me so we can post that, okay? Um, yeah, so I need information. That's it, that's my contact. Thank you. Yeah, and again, if you are interested, I'm sure some people were checking it out over lunch, uh, but we do have the volunteer table out there, so press, Tons of areas where we could use some help. If you are a translator, for example, we're always looking for uh, competent translators to do our German-English work, um, looking for people to speak to their local newspapers and so on. So if that's an area you're interested in, I mean, Beverly would love to have you on board. <laughs>